It's Miss Regina with EOYDC Storytime. How are you all doing? With the sunshine coming out, I hope you're getting fresh air. I hope you're drinking lots of water, eating fruits and vegetables, and most of all, washing your hands and your teeth and keeping yourself clean, because that's the safest way to be. So why don't we get started by welcoming each other the way we normally do, with a virtual hug. Take your right hand and put it over your left, your left hand and put it over your right, and then squeeze. Ah! Oh! Sometimes I like to do it really, really tight. It makes me feel really good. I hope it made it feel good to you too. And don't forget, you can hug yourself whenever you like. Today, I want to share a story with you of the Bernstein Bears. And the Bernstein Bears are going to the doctor. This is by Stan and Jan Bernstein. So on the front page, it says, take a deep breath, stick out your tongue, come see Dr. Grizzly while you are young. So the Bernstein Bears go to the doctor. Next, Dr. Gert Grizzly is in. Tomorrow, said Mama Bear as she helped the cubs get ready for bed, you'll be going to the doctor for a checkup. Doctor, said Brother Bear, we're not sick. And what's a checkup, asked Sister Bear, a little worried. It's just what it sounds like, said Mama. Dr. Grizzly will check to see if you are growing the way healthy cubs should. Will it hurt, asked Sister, pulling the covers up close. Now, now, said Papa Bear as he kissed them goodnight. You just settle down. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. But sister wasn't so sure. The next morning after a good breakfast, the family got into their red roadster and were on their way. Do you ever get checkups, mama? Sister asked as they drove along the dusty dirt road. Yes, I do, answered mama. I don't need checkups anymore, bragged papa, because I, I, achoo, never get sick. That was quite a sneeze, said Mama. It's this dusty road, said Papa, turning onto the main highway into Beartown. They pulled to a stop in front of the doctor's office. Come, Cub, said Mama, we don't want to be late for our appointment. But Brother held back. He remembered something. Are we gonna get shots, he asked. That's up to, to, achoo! The doctor, said Papa, sneezing an even bigger sneeze than before. Bless you, said Mama. It's just this bright sunlight, sniffled Papa. I never get sick. The doctor's waiting room was a busy, cheerful place with pictures on the walls, books to look at, and puzzles to do. Brother started a puzzle. Sister took a book, but didn't really look at it. Other bears were coming in, and she looked around the room at them. They were cubs of all ages with their parents. Some of the smallest cubs looked a little worried. Sister smiled at them so they wouldn't be afraid. There was a big cub with a cast on his leg. It had names and funny drawings all over it. He let brother write his name on it for luck and sister drew a picture. There was even a little baby cub only a few weeks old. Next called Dr. Grizzly. It was brother and sister's turn. Dr. Grizzly was friendly, but she got right down to work. She had a lot of bears to take care of and not much time to waste. First, she weighed and measured the cubs. Fine, she said, you've both gained weight nicely and grown taller. She listened to their chests with a stethoscope and poked them all over to check on everything inside. Next, she tested their hearing by whispering very softly. Then came the eye test. Brother read every letter except the very smallest. Sister didn't know all the letters yet, so she read a special chart that looked like this. Very good, said the doctor, and she studied some papers in a folder. Sister whispered to brother, so far it hasn't hurt at all. Well, that pretty much takes care of it, said Dr. Grizzly, looking through her eyeglasses at the papers. Except for one thing, I see it's time for your booster shots. I know it, said brother. Why do we have to have shots when we're not even sick, said sister. Now, sister, said papa, the doc, doc, 
Doc, achoo! Doctor knows best. Bless you, said Dr. Grizzly. And that's a very good question, sister. As she got the shots ready, she called out into the waiting room. I've got a brave little cub in here who's going to show you all how to take a shot. Getting back to your question, sister, said Dr. Grizzly. You see, there are some kinds of medicines that you take after you get sick, and those are very useful. But this kind of shot is a special medicine that keeps you from getting sick. Will it hurt, asked sister. Not nearly as much as biting your tongue or bumping your shin, the doctor explained. There, all done. Dr. Grizzly was right. And it happened so fast that sister didn't even have time to say ouch. The little cubs who were watching were very impressed. So was brother. After brother shot, Papa said, well, doctor, we'll be go, 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 achoo! Going now. Just a minute, Papa Bear, said Dr. Grizzly. Let me have a look at you. But I never get sick, Papa started to say. Hmm. Temperature above normal. Hmm. Throat red. Hmm. Nose all stuffed. Time for your medicine, Papa, said the cubs, offering him a big spoonful of the gooey pink stuff that Dr. Grizzly prescribed for his cold. Well, said Papa, smiling weakly, I hardly ever get sick. The end. If you've had the experience of going to the doctor and getting a shot, I hope that you were very brave too. So it's Miss Regina with EOYDC Storytime. And until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, so you don't have to go to the doctor, and stay loved. See you later. Mm -hmm.